Hi, this is Dave Floyd Al with ExpertVillage.com. In this next clip, I'm going to teach you the coin fold. All right, this next trick here is called the coin fold. It uses a half dollar and a piece of paper. What we're going to do is take the coin, put it inside the paper like this, and seal it all up. And I'll push it really hard so you can even see the indents of the coin there. Now we're going to seal all of the ends up so that this coin is completely and entirely wrapped inside of this piece of paper just like this. So you can even have a spectator grab and touch the coin there. It's completely locked inside there. What we're going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and get my magic wand out of my pocket and tap it three times just like that. And what that does is makes the coin completely disappear. And now, here's how this works. So I'll need another piece of paper. Get rid of my scraps. Um, the magic wand starts in your pocket. If you don't have a magic wand, uh, chapstick works well, keys, really anything or any reason to go into your pocket. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But I'll put that in my pocket and you come out with these. What we're going to do is you're going to fold the coin inside the paper. But we don't, we're not going to fold it completely in half at first. You're going to fold it so it covers the coin. And if you notice, there's a little lip right here. That's very important. You want that to be there um, for the uh, and, and the trick there. And I really push this coin around the sides to make it indent of the coin. And again, that's key for later on too because it makes it appear that the coin's still in there. Now where the, the lip is, I'm going to fold backwards like this. You don't want to fold forward with the lip. You want to make sure you fold backwards. And if you notice, I have the coins right here and I have a little bit of a gap there. Uh, again, it's important for the end of the trick because what happens is the coin's going to slip out of this and you need to have a little bit of play inside that paper. So again, I'll fold this side back as well. And again, you, you can notice there's a little bit of play on either side. And I turn this around at all times. I'm doing this. I kind of disorients the people to which side is which and whatnot. Now, at this last fold, if I folded this forward, I would be sealing this coin in there. But I take it and I fold it backwards, like this, saying it's completely sealed in there. And this side it looks pretty good, but from right here you'll see there's a big hole, an opening, where this goes right inside there like that. So as I seal this all up, I grab the coin at my fingertips. And I'm going to come to the side again to show you here. As I grab the coin at my fingertips, this hand comes to the side, and it's sort of like when I press this, the coin's going to fall right down into my hand again. So I'll let you see this from the front. So it's right here. As I come to the side, I grab this here. Now the coin's already inside my hand. I've let it, let it fall down out of that. And now I'm going to go in my pocket. And this is where your chapstick or your keys or your little magic wand comes in handy. Because what I actually did is I went in my pocket and I got rid of the quarter or the half dollar here. So I'm here. The coin's now in my hand. This is in my pocket. I go in there, I leave the coin and come out with just this. That leaves me completely clean to completely rip this up because, of course, there is no coin inside of there.